Good morning, you guys. It is, what's today? It is Wednesday the 6th. It is Wednesday, March 6th at 10.30. I'm running late again, but it doesn't matter. It's my day off, so I like to take my time on my day off because I have no reason to rush, so I don't have to get up and do anything. All I have to do is <clears throat> edit my vlogs and shit. Yeah, been cool. I've been uh, doing a lot of research on this streaming idea that I've had, and talking to Zan yesterday, he kind of put me on to the idea and like made me realize I have to just do PC streaming. So I think I'm going to cave and get a gaming PC, which will be fun because I'll get to play some super cool games versus the Switch has been like so whack. I never even liked it. I got it given to me as a gift in 2018 and it was just so boring. Like I played Street Fighter a couple times and, <clears throat> excuse me, Tetris and shit. But it's just the games are so fucking lame. So hopefully I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try Helldiver 2 is the one of the first games I'm going to try on the PC. So that should be cool. And then uh, maybe, I don't know, as stupid as it sounds, I kind of want to try the Pal World game. It looks pretty sick, the Pokemon spoof game. But I don't even know. Anyways, uh, just trying to learn about everything. I want to create more content. I want to get in with Zan and his crew so I can do some gaming and online gaming with everybody and shit be part of their little squad and, you know, I don't know, make a new community of homies online and shit because I have plenty of time and all, all I like doing right now is focusing on creating my content. So any forms of content is fun for me. And at nighttime, I get done with my reactions, I get done with my vlogs and I have nothing to do and I don't want to just sit and scroll on Instagram. At this point, I'm starting to feel like any time that I'm doing any sort of thing, even working out, I kind of want to film it and make content. So if I'm going to be working out, if I'm going to be making tattoo content, if I'm going to be uh, uh, playing a video game, I just definitely want to be, you know, recording it, making some reactions, making some content out of it so that you guys can see. And I don't know, it's just f more fun for me to do that rather than just sitting in my house playing a video game by myself. So, but excited to learn more about it because... Uh, it's been a long time. I used to be a PC guy. My uncle, back in the day, my dad, my stepdad's brother, worked for Boeing, which is a, uh, like, they make rockets and spaceships and shit. So in, like, 92, he gave us, our family, a IBM computer. And it, I think it was a 386. And I fucking, it had, like, a DOS. It, had DOS. it didn't even have Windows 3.1 yet on it. And I would play Leisure Suit Larry and strip poker and whatever was on the computer at the time and write my little word essays and shit for fourth grade. And then when 95 came and I installed Windows 95 on it, we upgraded our computer, we got more RAM and got a new computer. I got Windows 95 and then we got AOL and we got the internet and then we got DSL. It was crazy. I, I've gotten to see a lot of the phases of how computers have developed and it's been a lot of fun to be involved. And then around the late 90s early 2000s I was never a Mac guy it was they were never that great I'd use Macintosh computers in, in uh, school but up until that point they were kind of weak in comparison I was playing video games on my I was playing like uh, Doom and uh, what's that Myst and all kind of real stupid games on the computers and you couldn't play those on Macs yet so around early 2000s maybe 2001 they came out with more powerful computers and uh, I remember my buddy got one, he sold it to me and I started using it to make, I was really into making music at the time, so I used it for music software because they had some music software on there. And then after that, like, I got stuck on using a Mac for 20 years, so I've been using a Macintosh for 20 years. I, I only been using Mac and so I don't even know about, you know, PC games and any of that stuff for the last two decades, so I gotta really get back into it and I don't know, it's cool, I know how to play a game, I guess. Not very good at video games, but you can always learn, right? Uh, but yeah, so just this computer journey, you know, is new. Like editing, I have never really edited videos that well. So I ed edited vlogs like 10 years ago when I was on my world tour with Thomas Morgan, but they were very caveman. So now like even editing and DaVinci and all this stuff, it's all fucking new. And even using this camera and setting the correct lighting and so that it looks okay and then putting the color grading on it and it's crazy so i'm having fun learning all these new experiences i hope that you guys do the same thing and like press yourself to learn new shit 
you know, come up with new ideas rather than just being like, oh, bored. Or like I said, watching Family Guy on your couch. Like, that's just fucking lame. Like, if you're going to do stuff like that, maybe make a reaction video. Maybe come up with an idea that's similar. I don't know. Anything. Like, it's just got to be worth your time so that you can somehow make something of that idea and not just waste your own fucking time. Anyways, it's going to be time to go do some shoulders today. It's a big shoulder day for me at Zoo Culture. Hopefully they have the internet down again. There's no music. That was so nice yesterday. Their internet was off and so there was no music for the entire workout. I didn't have to adjust the audio even though I forgot to record my audio for like three workouts like a fucking idiot. Shit happens, you know. Every day I'm getting better and better, you know, no one's perfect. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so bear with me, you guys. I'm trying my best. Hopefully you guys can even see the progression of the vlogs, of just how they're coming together, how they're changing the formats, and again, the shots, and why everything looks and sounds more tolerable. I wouldn't say better, but I guess better, but just, you know, whatever. Anyways, let's get to zoo culture. The dog's about to piss her pants. Let's get it, boys. Oh, man. I could get seriously used to this no music in zoo culture thing. I hope their internet stays out forever. I know that's not nice of me to say, but it is really fucking beautiful to not have a bunch of shit going on and Travis Scott being played at fucking a million decibels. Anyways, poor Fajita was just having a bad morning, but I think I shaked her out of her, her, her mood. She was not feeling good, scrubbing her butt on shit. And, sulking but I had Joe give her some treats so she's feeling better now. Now she's on the ground scrubbing around. I was gonna do arm day but I think I'm gonna do shoulders today so I could do arm, uh, legs with Joe. Then my last thing I'll have for the rest of the week will be uh, arms. Save the best for last you know what I mean? Raheel wants to work out, so maybe I'm going to try to get him to do arms with me on Saturday or Sunday. Oh, fuck. Come on. Larry Wheels is here. It's always cool to have some talent in the building. Eric Janicki, some serious fucking bodybuilder action. Bradley Martin, Fajita the Frenchie. Everybody's making waves here. Come on. Oh, fuck. Warm up these shoulders as much as possible. This is fucking crazy. Anytime I get some idea in my head, I can't ever get the shit out of my head. It's even like, you know, with this movie shit or video shit and editing, and it's always just like this obsessive way that I want to handle everything. Like, as soon as I get into something, I just go fucking full throttle. As soon as I started thinking about this streaming idea, I haven't been able to stop. And like, I don't know what's appealing about it to me. I think it's like, like I said before, the community element or like squadding up with the homies or some shit. I think it's going to be fun. It's not just going to be about playing a video game or some shit, you know? But also making clips that are funny. I know that I do have a good personality when I'm like, being natural and I'm not like trying to script anything and I'm just like being myself so obviously this isn't hilarious but this is just me talking to y'all on some vlog shit but when I'm like relaxed and maybe smoke to join or whatever and just chill and playing some games yeah you're gonna make some funny commentary you know right so I think it's gonna be fun I think it'll be a lot of fun to have a new way to make content I've never even done it before so Excited. Oh man, they got a cool ass camera set up. I love seeing that. All right. Let's warm up this back. Come on. Youch. Let's go. Painful. Damn, Larry Wheels' is, uh, videographer's got the fucking crip set up. I want to go see what he's got. 
Man, I, I love technology. I think it's so tight. So I like my Tesla so much. I like these cameras and computers. It's fun, man. Technology's so tight. The iPhone, making stuff. I like making art, but it's like been crazy making digital art now and like trying to transpire my my ideas into like digital content, either, you know, whatever, talk, spoken head, spoken word or whatever, talking head videos or more vlog style content or even like the now fitness content. Like I had no idea that I would ever make fitness content ever. Like that was never in the cards. So I wasn't like even six months ago, even like, you know what I want to do? Make fitness content. So it's crazy how it's all kind of come together. All right, let's get it. Uh, Shorty's doing some weird ass shit on the shoulder press. What the fuck? Crazy. Quick warm up. Ouch. Crazy. Come on. Ugh. Even at low weight, it's so fucking heavy. It's so crazy. I don't get it. I need a partner on shoulder day to help me focus on keeping my shoulders straight. <laughs> Mary Wheels doing some crazy ass shit with some shorty on his. <laughs> That's crazy. These cats are wild. All right, straight into my least favorite exercises. This is definitely top, top, up there. Let's get some fucking weight on here. So lame. Pretty good for a normal. Here we go. Beautiful. All right. Come on. Easy. Actually felt really good. That first set felt surprisingly good. Hopefully we can keep this momentum up here. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, this feels good. This is a good sign. Moving forward, boys. Come on. It's honestly crazy to see all these bodybuilder homies. You know, we got Larry Wheels here. We got Eric. The homie Damien's over here with Joe at the front. It's sick. It's like real bodybuilder shit going on in here. They're filming this shit. It's fucking fresh. I love seeing it. I love the content creation. I love everybody staying motivated to make new shit and record themselves, not be afraid. You know, you got cats that are like, embarrassed to record themselves or whatever and I get it it's like awkward in the beginning but you gotta just start filming yourself and see what happens and 
watch the videos and be better each time and when you stutter or do weird shit or suck your teeth or whatever you do don't do that shit so that you can make for better videos or yelling in the mic or i don't know whatever there's a hundred different things come on starting to get tired on the left side come on oh fuck yow chow 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 what the fuck are these fools doing push-ups with this shorty on top of his back crazy all right let's warm up a 20 i guess i mean i mean honestly i might that's where i might go with it i'm not can't do much on this one. I'm a fucking pussy ass bitch. Keep my shoulders, but it's all good. Feeling good today. Gonna keep it going. Oh, fuck. I got fucking Larry Wheels and Eric Jandy looking at me doing fucking no weight on this shoulder press. So embarrassing. Such a fucking clown. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, you bitch ass. All right, here we go. Come on. You know it's weird my shoulder issue is like feeling i feel it like right up in here even like into my neck feels like the pinch comes up to like here so crazy i wonder why it does that but i guess i can wonder all i want doesn't really matter what's the saying they say put wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which one fills first all right, let's get it, boys. Fucking Christ, dude. All right, come on. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Fuck me, dude. I'm such a pussy. A bunch of heavy hitters. Got Bradley Martin and Larry Wheels getting filmed. Contortionist shorty, she going crazy. I'm not really sure what, what they're doing. Let's see it here. Oh shit, what the heck? Yeah, all up on her butt, on the Larry Wheels' butt cheeks. All right, what are they gonna do, flip onto Brad's? Oh shit, no problem. She probably only weighs like 90 pounds. I'm dead. Come on. Dude, what a wall of legends right here. Tough guys only. Come on. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I can't even do 20 regular push ups without a chick on me. This fool's crazy. Look at his legs look crazy too right now. Good job, Larry. These guys are all the biggest inspirations. Oh, he's got it. Ah, fire. That was crazy. Quick old 27 piece. No problem. Legendary. All right, last one. 
Last one of these fuckers, dude. Yeah, I really need to honestly just start doing shoulder day with somebody else. I can't be doing this shit by myself. This is not gonna cut it. My shoulders are never gonna grow if I'm just a bitch every fucking week. A weight belt, the human weight belt. Oh my god. Too funny. We got the behind the scenes. Everybody else in front, we got behind the scenes. Miles and I can have filmed too much of this because it's kind of a boring exercise to film, even though they're all kind of boring, but oh, just doing some, trying to strengthen this lateral head of my shoulder. Oh shit. It hurts so bad to put my arm straight out to the side. And this is the lowest weight I can even go. I need to like get like a five pound weight and do this. really need to build up my shoulders aside is not as big of a deal it still hurts but definitely not the same it honestly feels good when I like correct my posture too oh fuck ouch my shit is on fire right now Just taking a break for one second my shoulders are fucking on fire you can use this if you need to. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm done. It's really cool to be around like so many motivated people to see like all scales of the spectrum because like some people are like just amateurs or just beginning into the gym for the first time. Some people are coming back to the gym after not having been in the gym for a long time. So it's really crazy. And then some people are fucking bodybuilders, professional bodybuilders. And to be able to be exposed to this scale is really inspiring. So it's humbling because you don't feel like a big fish. Even anytime you feel like, oh, I'm doing good. I got big old muscles bigger than my homie or something. There's a bigger fish than you right, at, right next to you. So, and it's Larry fucking wheels. They're Bradley Martin. So you can't say shit because they'll dunk on your ass. So it's dope, man. You know, this whole environment is really inspiring for me to be in and I think it's probably been the most beneficial to be around such a dramatic range of different types of bodybuilding and different types of bodybuilders like of all levels so seeing my boy Valley Muscle try to become a bodybuilder now it's crazy like I don't think any of us had these ideas a couple months ago six months ago whenever you know coming to zoo culture was a new thing for me at least I don't think these ideas were in place, so it's really inspiring to have these people around you to, to show you like what you can do if you really push yourself or really diet or train hard and fucking work and train with intensity and train with like intention. It's crazy, man. We can get a lot done, so it, it's really amazing. Praise Zoo Culture. Shout out to Bradley Martin. He's the man for creating such a dope institute. All right, I only got a couple exercises in. If I can't get the pec deck, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably just gonna get the fuck out of here because I'm just not feeling it. Like I said, I'm gonna have to start doing shoulders with like a partner because like it is so hard for me to stay motivated on shoulder day for me. It's the hardest one. But we're gonna get it either way. Let's go see if the pec deck's open. Let's pray. I'll get one more exercise in, do some reverse, some uh, rear delt. All right, I guess I lucked out. Some reverse pec deck to close out this amazing shoulder day. It's been cool, man. I'm glad I came to the gym. I'm pumped about every time. Oh, man. Jeez Louise. Oh, I just did this yesterday with Zan, too. Dummy. Oh, fuck. Come on. Elbows up. 
Fucking almost turn my knee inside out. Holy shit, on camera. All right, come on. Here we go. Easy money. No problem. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I thought I saw a, a gray Tesla Y with a white interior. I was hoping it was Yusuf's. That's literally what he's got, not to blow his spot, but. Oof. It's like his same car set up, and I thought he was here, but sadly he isn't. I miss him. All right, you guys, that is it for uh, Shoulder Day. It was quick. It's quick and easy, in and out. Like, dude, I, like I said, for the hundredth time, I'm going to start implementing somebody else on Shoulder Day with me because this is, it's not going <clears> to, <throat> this ain't going to work doing this shit for too long, so... Anyways, it gave it my all, you know, I, I, I really, I felt good. I didn't give it my all, but I definitely got a good pump and I felt good. So it was whatever. Talked to Joe a little bit, you know, touch bases with some other homies. It was a good, it was, there was reason to go to the gym. Either way, let's just consider it my rest day. You know, on days that you don't give it your all, you can just say, okay, this is my day that I rested. So there's no even reason to take a rest day because some days you don't even give it 100%. So why would you want to take rest days and then have bad days and blah, blah, blah. It's just too much. Anyways, uh, going to finish wrapping up all this stuff and edit up the vlog, and then me and my homie Deshaun are going to go to Best Buy and look at some streaming computers, some gaming computers, so you very well might get a gaming PC today. Um, it's exciting, so if so, then that'll be a part of uh, the vlog to some extent, you know, might implement some clips from streams or something. I don't even know. We'll see. I just, like, uh, want to get this going so I can continue to make content and continue to have fun, because... Keep them busy and staying, uh, staying busy, you know, don't want to have too much time on my hands. So anyways, you guys know the deal. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are the best. See you tomorrow with Joe. Peace.